This is the circuit of operational amplifier used as inverting adder. Now adder means a type of circuit which has number of inputs. Here we are using three inputs and we are going to connect V1, V2 and V3 input voltages. And these input voltages can be controlled with the help of these three knobs V1, V2 and V3 respectively. And there are three resistors R1, R2, R3 of same value and they are together connected to the inverting terminal of IC741. We are using this IC741 because it is very common one and works very fine. And here is the feedback resistor and of course we are using dual power supply with offset null adjustment which is already done inside this box. So there is no need to adjust the offset nulling and all that. It is already done inside this board. And here we are uh, going to measure the output voltage. So first of all, we shall connect this voltmeter over here. I have set this uh, knob at 10 volt DC and we are going to use the scale 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay. And similarly, I am going to use this as also a voltmeter and the range will be same 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So first I set this uh, voltmeter at V1 and I switch on the circuit. The circuit is switched on. You can see the needle is deflecting in anti-clockwise direction because the voltage here right now is negative input voltage. So if you want to make it positive, you have to rotate this knob clockwise. If you rotate this knob anti-clockwise, in that case, the reading will be on the negative scale. So in order to measure the negative reading, you can simply change the polarities of this voltmeter. So that is okay. You rotate this knob on the left hand side, the input voltage will be negative. And if you connect it like this, that is red terminal to positive and black terminal to the ground line, this is ground line then the voltage will be positive. You can record the positive voltage like this. And we have set the input voltage value, the magnitude of input voltage value such that it should not go beyond the gain and the maximum capacity that uh, input voltage capacity of this IC741. So right now I have rotated this knob fully clockwise, but still the output voltage, the input voltage is just up to around two volt. So not more than that. So first I set this voltage at maximum voltage value or just change it to exactly say one volt. Okay. Now I set V2 in the same way. I rotate this knob clockwise and set the input voltage to exactly one volt. And we shall go the same way for V3. I rotate this knob and set the input voltage to 1 volt. Okay, now what is expected that we are connecting three input voltages V1, V2 and V3 which are all 1 volt, 1 volt, 1 volt positive of course and we expect that the output voltage here should be minus 3 volt. Why it is minus 3? Because we are using the circuit as inverting adder. We are connecting positive voltages at the inverting terminal. So the output voltage will be negative. And one thing more you have to note down here that R1, R2, R3 together with RF have equal values. So the gain of this circuit will be unity. And so the input voltage addition will be exactly at the output. So we expect here that the output voltage should be minus 3 volt. So let us connect the voltmeter over here, another voltmeter or you can just take this voltmeter also and connect it over here. That is okay. Means I am telling this because you will be able to use a single voltmeter for this experiment very easily. So I connect this voltmeter but I am connecting it in reverse polarity because the voltage at the output we are getting is minus 3, roughly around minus 3. So let us see whether it appears over here. See you can see here that the voltage here is around uh, it is 2.9 volt. So roughly it is 3 volt and therefore we can say that 
The input voltages are 1 volt, 1 volt, 1 volt each and their addition at the output is 2.9 volt which is approximately equal to 3 volt. There is always a difference so far as the theoretical and practical results of the circuit are concerned because here we have to consider the manufacturing defects or manufacturing errors within resistors, then potentiometer, then the IC itself and of course along with that these multimeters do have certain manufacturing errors. So all these errors together if we consider then of course the practical results cannot be equal to the theoretical results. But approximately we have here proved that when the input voltages are uh, set to particular magnitudes for example 1 1 1 here then the output voltage will be simply the addition of all these input voltages. So with this we come to the end of this experiment.